to be clear, what Carl is wearing has nothing to do with segment. Um, <laughs> just thought it looked good. Pew, pew, pew. Um, this is a revolutionary <laughs> device you're looking at Amazing. here, and it's being tested by the NRL at the moment to um, detect concussions. It could also become the new normal for junior footy clubs to protect our younger players. And former NRL Chief Medical Officer Dr Paul Bloomfield and Head Safe Design Engineer Gus Chadwick join us now. Um, guys, really nice to see you this morning. Um, doctor, can I just ask um, how this device works? Sure, thanks for having us. Um, the device is basically a portable EEG device, um, which has been <coughs> confirmed by FDA approval in the States as an EEG. And what it does is it basically flashes lights uh, in that front piece. Mm -hmm. Although it looks like a VR headset, it's not actually a VR headset. It flashes lights, um, which then your brain reacts to and you record the uh, result in the, the back there, which is then transmitted to um, a mm -hmm. portable device such as an iPad or an iPhone. All right, so, this is, so, so what right now, like, what are you seeing at the moment, Carl? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> 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 no, absolutely nothing. Um, so it's just black for me. Um, yeah. it, it definitely feels like something's going on up there for the first time today. <laughs> um, yes, can you talk us through then? Like, how, how oh, that's works? light now. Yeah, so you should start to see some flashing lights. Yeah. And then so your brain is responding like to those either. lights in the visual cortex. Yeah. We use five sensors just placed over the visual cortex. That's what's in that rear unit. Mm -hmm. And then we measure the response to those lights in that. And so how are you then able to tell from this whether or not someone's suffering a concussion? Well, it's a tool to assist with the diagnosis of concussion. Concussion remains a clinical diagnosis. And the more tools we have to um, <laughs> determine whether a concussion is potentially present, um, will be helpful. So this measures brain function, looking for change in brain function, because basically concussion is a disturbance in brain function, mm. and this will um, help us determine whether that brain function's changed at the time of injury and also during recovery periods as well. Gus, are you finding any brain function? Oh, Ali. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, in regards to concussion, obviously. Yeah, of course. Um, so once the test finished, we'll get some results um, and mm -hmm. we'll get a visual representation of that reaction to those lights. Is it pretty... I mean, I'm seeing the, the light sort of through here, if I look sort of past your nose. Is it pretty bright and confronting, Carl? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just like being in a disco um, in Ibiza. It's just like there's a lot of flashing lights happening and uh, it feels fine. Um, mm. Do p some people go weird with it? No, oh. no, really, no. The, the contraindications are people that have epilepsy, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, basically, or have had significant mm. uh, structural and, and what, brain injuries in the past. And what impact is it going to have on, on, on the ability to read and, and treat? Yeah, so realistically, you know, we can see obvious concussions if someone's unconscious or they're fitting and things like that. But uh, the usefulness of tools like this or this particular tool is that it doesn't rely on compliance of, mm. the, of the player or the patient. Mm. Um, so it is measuring brain function. Um, so you don't actually physically have to do anything to do it. And it's particularly useful in things like, you know, where players may not be honest. And we, there are studies yeah. around the world that show right throughout contact sports and all sports, players aren't necessarily honest with their symptoms. Because they want the, to get back out on yeah, the field, right? Yeah, particularly at the time of the injury um, mm. for a multitude of reasons. Have we got a reading yet? Yeah, so Carl, if you want to take that off. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, a bit hot in and, and, yeah, it's yeah, hot. and so it doesn't rely on them being honest at the time. Okay. Um, and also, it may also help us pick up delayed concussions. So up to 10% of concussions are delayed. I don't think I was ever knocked out as a kid. Maybe a soccer. I, had, I played yeah. soccer and heading the ball, I know that can be an yeah. issue. Yeah, and you don't have to be knocked out to get a concussion. Mm -hmm. A lot of concussions aren't obvious. So you do actually rely on the person saying, I don't feel right, I've got a headache, mm -hmm. or I've got dizziness. And uh, if you actually play on with those things, Mm. It can last a lot longer. Okay. Uh, results? Yeah, so what we can see here is... Um, Turn it around and just show us for the camera too. Uh, so we have uh, a visual representation of the response to those flashing lights. Um, what we can see is a reading um, that we could expect from someone from baseline or a normal subject, if you like. So, there yeah. you go, you're normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way you said baseline. <laughs> <laughs> From a baseline. Uh, this could be a game changer, though, and I can a lot of peace of mind too for parents mm. who've got kids playing sport. Thanks, guys. It's awesome technology. Well done. Thank you. Thanks.